gas. I should be a grid life right now driving my car, but I'm poor and super lame. So I'm at the house doing my tow and basically getting the car aligned. Um, so I figured I would share that with you guys real quick. Uh, if you remember, we got the angle kit on the 350Z. Doing this out here in the dirt is uh, it's difficult. Um, <clears throat> but I got the car sitting on like some old cross members. And I got this piece of wood right here to kind of get the, the tow plates roughly in the same position. So I got the car sitting on, on its, you know, on its weight, whatever. And I'm also, I lowered the front end back down just a little bit. I'm gonna raise the back. Because I want this thing to be kind of competitive. So uh, being super low, don't, I guess that does work. There's plenty of guys that do it, but um, I'm just gonna raise it up a little bit so it's easier to drive and get in and out of places. But for whatever reason, these tow plates took a good minute to get here. So that's why it took so long to get it um, all together. But I'm going to show you guys what I decided to go with. Um, my two seconds of doing research online, I think guys are saying like, you know, like a, like a one eighth kind of tow out. So kind of in that ballpark, but it's a good place to start. And that's really hard to show you guys. You can see right there, cause you're supposed to put tension on both sides. And right there. So I might lower the car a little bit. So, and the car is gonna get a, a, um, a true alignment eventually. Oh, I'm gonna nick the heck out of my wheel, jeez. But for now, I'm just trying to get it drivable. And uh, I'm gonna order the rear arms for the back of the car. And that should be it. Then I can take it to get a, a true professional alignment. But at the moment, there's no sense of taking it in because like I said, I don't have the, the arms for the back of the car. And um, that's pretty much it. I don't have the arms for the back of the car. <laughs> so this will get the car drivable and uh, I can actually take it for an event which I'm going to do really soon, I hope. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this knocked out, get everything tight, and we'll take it for a little drive. All right, guys, so we got the Z put together. There's like a little car meter at a local shop. We'll stop by here, and I'm gonna try, all right, we're not gonna try. I'm gonna do a burnout in the car, which is gonna be my victory burnout. Um, we got the angle kit, like got the toe roughly done. It's good enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and drive it to the front and get in line to do a burnout, so.
piece i don't think it hurt the engine but like you know me the ever warrior whatever like it got pretty hot like it was like right below the bar before the h <laughs> and like it happened like instantly too it was like we're cool we're good we're good i'm looking around next thing i know looking it's like it's up there but it seems to be running pretty good so not too worried thanks to those guys at the shop um, because i popped the tires they mounted some new tires in the back for me so now it's got to get tires on the front and we'll be ready for drift event i'm going to try to go to a drift event this friday and then probably the one after that because i think some of my friends are going to go so this friday i'm gonna say i'm gonna call it it <laughs> but i'll let you the tires it's kind of it's kind of sketchy that i was actually driving on these things but they're pretty bad look at that guy right there and this side isn't even that bad i'll show you the other side but you can see the kit and everything it's holding up pretty good they got a little bit more uh, angle to turn right there but I I got my uh, angle kit set up very mild like so I don't want this to be like a hardcore drift car I want this to be a car that I can drive every day it's not rubbing on my inner fenders or anything so at full lock I've already done like the parking lot turns um, I'll show you guys that in another video this is the bad tire look at that holy cow got the syringes hanging out and I just stuck myself with like a fucking idiot <laughs> jeez but yeah that tire pretty bad as you can see I got like my stops for my angle stop whatever like all the way out but it it's definitely good enough to go for an event like I said I'm gonna take it to the shop Monday get a fresh set of tires on the front and We'll be good to go so i have like another set of 18 inch wheels i'll probably go ahead and get them or i'll, I'll use my tire machine about those so um yeah the next video will be getting tires and everything on this and i'll do like the little parking lot you know show you guys the turning radius um, so far i like the angle kit because it's it's not like i said the way i got mine set up which i don't know if it's going to change when i get an alignment a professional alignment and everything not using toe plates and stuff but right now i like it it drives pretty normal ish it's a little twitchy but that I means that's just what it, that's the way it is i actually like that like that's why the fd has cut knuckles and my corvette has like the little bolt on angle kit because i actually like when you don't have to like fucking 
like you're turning a school bus to, <laughs> to turn somewhere you know it's just like eh. but anyway i'm extremely happy with the car um it is a hundred percent put together uh, i'll show you guys around the car and stuff that'll be kind of like the end of the video but full interior ac you know fender liners under tray like it is a complete functioning z that you can drive every day and i'm hoping will be fun on the track so we'll find that out friday but all right guys i'm going to end it with just some beauty b-roll whatever of the car and um because this might be like one of the last few times you get to see it pretty because who knows we'll see what happens but like always guys i appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one